Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matero, and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more content, and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weez G and Z Gaming, Maori Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the KO Preco Heist inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors, and I will leave this inside my description below. Now this does require the latest version for Lemon UI, so I will leave this inside my description below as well now once you have finished downloading all the files all you got to do is go to your grand theft auto v game hover over it right click and open file location now before you do anything really important if you haven't go to your scuttlev.net.ini file double click and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Then save your file. Now next, if you don't have a scripts folder, then you can simply right click, go to new, then go to folder, and now create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and now let's begin. The first file that you gotta install is Lemon UI. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder, go to your SHVDN3 folder, and now select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Enable All Interiors Extract folder. Go to this folder. Go to your scripts. And now simply select all the files in folder except for the text file. And now drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your KO Preco Heist extract folder go to this folder go to your scripts and select all the files and folders except for this text file and drag it inside your scripts folder now select replace and then now exit out of your extract folder next go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click Refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I will see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game with Franklin. So once you're in the game, the first thing that you got to do is open up your phone, go to your contacts, now go right down to the bottom, and you'll see enable all interiors. Now, go to change and interior. Now, go to K 
for your particular heist interiors. Now make sure that all of this is enabled except for this one over here. And now really important, go down to MISC options and now enable markers and enable blips as well. And now make sure that load MP maps is enabled as well. Now exit out of your menu, then go to refresh interiors. Wait for a few seconds. Now exit out of your menu. Now on your keyboard, press insert. Your game will freeze, but only for a few seconds. Now my game is back. Now the next thing that you gotta do, okay, you can use a phone if you want to, and uh, you can go right down to the bottom, go to options, and then uh, you can go to modify and buy. Now, unfortunately, I don't wanna do it like this, because I wanna be safe, so I wanna do it the safe side, so to do it the safe side, this is what I always do, okay? I always go to the map, okay, and I go to this H, okay, because that is where the heist is, okay. So this is where the heist will be, okay. Normally you can use your phone, but I like to use this because to keep it safe, you know. See this? Just go over here, and now you'll see the submarine over there. Uh, somewhere, it will spawn around here somewhere. Press E, by the submarine, and it's right over there, in front of me. Now over here, you can change the flag if you want to. You can change the locations, you change the colors. And you can give it uh, weapons uh, if you want to. Uh, minigun or lock on missiles or whatever but like always I'm going to leave everything as default you can call for a request boat if you want to uh, request a yeah you can request yeah just request any boats but I'm not going to request a boat because it is too slow I'm just going to fly my drone there it's much more faster than a boat and now press E to enter the submarine. Now people say they fall underneath the map, but over here you won't, see? Now you can do whatever in here. Now I'm not going to show you around the submarine because everybody knows what it looks like. So let's go over here, uh, press E to start, wait for a few seconds. And now everybody knows what to do, okay? See, it still works 100%. Let's skip this part. And now we are at the island over here. And now we can just jump in the vehicle. And now just drive away. And now there you go. Or I can just be an idiot and just run over someone for no bloody reason. This mod does work 100%. And I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. And welcome back guys, so I hope you do enjoy the mod. Like always, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. I'm more active inside my Discord server, so I will leave my Discord server link inside my description below, so go and check that out, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.